All right, and welcome to episode four, part two. Enjoy. All right, let's go on. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi. Worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Just pills. Here we go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say, I was a natural-born mother. Flashback! It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball! 
Want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Doug. He'd laugh his ass off. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Hey! Get away from him! Is he okay? Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. <laughs> grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth fighting for. What I did to Carver, I did for you. I know. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking, it's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just happy. Huh. First time in a while. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Huh.
out of there now. All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. I failed him. It's my fault. The thought of losing him, of being alone again. There was no way. It's not your fault. Nobody wants to be alone in this world. At least you have something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. Yeah. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. So, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> eh. 
Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Is there any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. There's a chance, but I don't know how good it is. They separated us, and I don't know where they took him. Figures. You... You were lucky, that's all. When Joan wants something, she... She gets it. Can't say the same for me. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Joan's rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you.
Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. <coughs> what took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. He was definitely not 100% there, that's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? You're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start. And it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. 
First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. You were just fucking lying uh, this whole time? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... Just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. everybody thank you for watching this video and i we appreciate all the support you've given us and please check out our uh, playlist and you know, the next video patreon page and random video i don't know what it's random so go go with it and also please like and comment and subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel of course not subscribe to the video right and that's